Okay, we're going to look at uh, capacitor smoothing, full bridge uh, rectified with uh, capacitor smoothing as shown in the slide um, on my left. And uh, I've got a little demo here. We find full bridge smoothing in a compact fluorescent light, and so I brought in a, a light here, just to check with on the plug. So here's a, a lamp, a very familiar lamp that I've taken to pieces. And uh, you can see in here there's about eight diodes actually, four of which are the full bridge rectifier, and then we have the large electrolytic capacitor doing the smoothing. Uh, that happens to be in this case 2.8 microfarads, 400 volts coming straight in off the mains electricity. So I've taken that to pieces. I've brought in a couple of wires either side of that capacitor so I can connect to it, and um, we should be able to measure some voltage. And I've added some resistors here so we can measure the current and the main supply. So, uh, just check that this is going to work. And I see we've already lost the wire, Let's just reconnect that. Okay. Right, we're going to measure voltage. We're going to use these rather special differential probes. This is mains voltage, don't do this at home, it's very dangerous. These differential probes are designed uh, especially for this type of activity, so there's no earth, there's no ground, and we can just connect across. So I can put those on my voltage here. Another pair on my current. Across my resistors here. And hopefully we can plug that in. And we have light, and we have our traces up on the scope now. So over here we have the uh, we have the voltage waveform. Notice where the ground is. Ground is down here. So we've got our, our main our rectified voltage with some ripple on it, just as we had in the lecture notes. And uh, you can see during this period here we're charging, and here's the mains current, a small current uh, charging through there, and then that goes off, and we simply linearly discharge as the capacitor voltage decays. You'll see some interesting features here. It jumps up inst almost instantaneously when this voltage on the capacitor hits the mains voltage, the rectifier comes on and the current jumps up rapidly and then uh, drops off uh, as the capacitor is charged up. And it's supplying the low current a little bit there too. During this period, the second period, the low current is supplied entirely by the capacitor, that big capacitor there. So what we can see here then is that the, uh, there is no DC in this. Notice where the ground is set here. So we have no DC in the mains current there. That's a good thing. We want AC current. We don't want any DC in the mains. And that's why we have to use a full wave bridge or something similar on the compact fluorescent light. These are proliferated all around uh, the building and uh, more or less the world now. So that's very important to have a symmetrical AC waveform. The smoothing is reasonably okay, but it does have a big ripple on it. But from our, the point of view of our light, you'll see the light is very smooth. There doesn't seem to be any ripple in the light output. Uh, so we can say that this is smooth effectively enough. So this is part one of our uh, compact fluorescent circuit. The second part we would look at how the uh, um, the rest of the circuit produces the light. We can do a little experiment just by checking another tube. Here's one out of the box and uh, brand new, unused, very unusual looking one. Uh, we can just put that in, just check from the plug. Yeah. So we'll just test the current on that one. And do that carefully. And there we have the same sort of current this time, uh, showing the uh, big spikes in current. Now that's a slightly higher power and has a bigger uh, current. What we can also say uh, is that um, we are drawing these spikes of current off the main supply. 
So something else we can do is just look at the actual waveform from the mains. So I'll unplug again to keep myself safe and alive. And we'll come in, just check the mains voltage. So I'll just bring that tray, trace, trace two up a bit. And uh, turn it down a little bit. Let's have a look at our main voltage. And there we can see that the mains voltage is rather uh, flat topped um, during the uh, charging period, but it coincides with taking current out of the peak of the supply on both sides, and therefore it has. Uh, upset the mains voltage a little bit simply because of the impedance of the supply and that's the mains voltage coming into this building in fact it's looking better now than it was looking rather uh, slightly earlier uh, simply because um, we're getting near lunch time and maybe a few things have gone off but there we go okay that winds up for now